as a general statement, the the environment needs to hold some, um, a certain amount of moisture and a certain amount of oxygen. So that ratio is what the the stem and root zone really needs to to begin its rooting process and to go throughout its rooting process. So as long as there's a good ratio of moisture to oxygen, that's why you know you could do it in cocoa soil and all these different medias, and a plant will strike roots and will grow and will do its thing. So that's kind of the the rule of thumb and what is needed on a basic level. Um, now as far as different methods go, like aeroponics, I used to do that back in the day, um, but it's a bit finicky. It's it's like any other aeroponic system or and or hydroponic system or deep water culture system where if there's any variation in your parameters, you're more than likely gonna have issues. So if a timer goes down or if the water chiller is not chilling water or if any issues like that happen, you have very little room for margin for error. So you really need to have um, you know, a close eye on your system to ensure there's no hiccups throughout your, your rooting process. So it works, that moisture to oxygen level gets created in that environment in the aeroponic system but if your temperature is off or uh, anything like that, you could have some issues and it is not an easy way to recover from that. Um, the different types of media, rock wool is a traditional one. It's been used for who knows how long and it, and it works. It works just fine. Um, and especially if you're going to go into another rock wool cube, that's where you want to start off with. It's a great, it's a great starting point. Um, it's got a good moisture to oxygen ratio. Um, you know, most people squeeze the cubes to, for whatever reason they have in mind, but I don't, I, you know, I say they come from the manufacturer with a certain ratio that they could hold so much moisture and not hold anything more than that. So I don't squeeze any of the rock wool cubes like most people do. Um, any cubes really, um, Oasis cubes is like a floral foam. So it's another, um, good slab to use. But it's very delicate when it's dry. Like pulling it out of the box, it, it just falls apart when it's dry. It's it's so delicate. But once it gains moisture and you moist and you uh, saturate it, it's good to go and it holds its place and stuff. And it's a it's a good media. Now, there's also the root riots, like you mentioned, and I think that's a great option for like hobby growers and or people that aren't doing too much production too often. And I say that because you know you still have to manually. Um, you know, saturate the cubes and then fill in your 50 cell trays or however many, um, you know, cells you're doing in a tray. You have to manually plug all of those individual cubes. On a small scale, it's not a big deal. But when you're doing commercial scale, that's a lot of labor that is wasted. Um, so on a commercial scale, my personal favorite are the iHort trays, um, the Excel trays to, you know, narrow it down. They got a few products, but those come pre-filled. So that 50 cell tray comes pre-filled with a cocoa, cocoa peat based media with a little bit of perlite and um, some, some just way to keep it, keep it compact. So when it, you could break it down like soil, but it holds its, its shape when it's in the cube and it's in the tray and stuff. So that's my personal favorite because it comes pre-filled and you save a ton of labor when it comes to the commercial scale. So you could you could clone and root in most in most medias. Um, just just gotta work with that ratio of moisture and uh, dry backs and oxygen and stuff to encourage the root growth. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mister Grow at fifteen to save on any of their products.